Okay, so you're gonna explain to us what happened. Well, I told you what happened. Villain attack. Yeah, but that doesn't explain the scattered limbs and dismembered bodies. <clears throat> well, uh -huh. well, you see, these dogs. Oh, uh, well, uh, yeah. Don't, don't lie about the dogs. You were the one doing the decapitating. Well, they were brain dead. They're so legally dead and it was totally alright to kill them. Yeah. Wanna explain the dogs then? Oh. <clears throat> I don't know anything about them. They came from this weird device and quickly huddled towards you. Coincidence? Oh, I guess it's also coincidence that they did exactly what you said as soon as you said it. Yeah. Uh huh. And according to the video footage that we've collected, you did admit that you have killed before. Well, I am a hunter. So you say. And, uh, these are your dogs. I'm telling you, I don't know why they're just, you know, <laughs> attached to me. And whenever we try to inflict any kind of harm towards you, they are quick to attack. Well, they're very protective. I was possibly just one of the first people they saw, and they easily, uh, what do they call it, imprinted on me? Uh huh. You expect us to believe that? Uh, hey, if you don't like the story, don't listen to it. Okay. What about your technology? It seems eerily similar to the New Way Devil. <laughs> oh, so you know him. Who doesn't know him? <laughs> well, he he uh, single-handedly took down Neonopolis. Yeah. That's not what the woman said. I think she was the, the daughter of the head of Neonopolis, and she said he had someone's help. Uh, well, where this woman is, maybe she was mistaken. Hmm. I'll be back. Take your time. Sorry, Josh Nora, I can't tell if this kid's lying or what. Of course he's lying. Chances are he is the person who the one uh, she was talking about, the one who held the new way devil. Here. What's this? His hero gear. Just show him a back by back how they're so similar between is and the you know the similarities I think that'll work so you said new way devil I saw him twitch so yeah he definitely knows him but if we can't get a confession there's no use in keeping him fine I'll try my best thank you Oh, well, okay, Mr. Midoriya, yep, what of your hero costume, what about it, it seems as though you, uh, you uh, modeled yourself after the new way devil, yep, he's awesome, in fact, you're, Fighting tactics. 
you also said you were a hunter. Eerily similar to how the way devil would fight. Mm-hmm. So what? I I wonder, why is it that you idolize him so much? Uh okay. Weird question. I see him as a skilled combatant. So, a hero. But is she? He. How do you know it's a he? Well, you called him a he before. Hmm. Oh, God, it didn't work. So, what if I told you that it was a she? I'm sorry for that, uh, for that chuckle. No, I, I sneezed. Damn it, I almost... <laughs> I, I can only imagine Scarface as a girl. <laughs> yeah, he's just trying his best not to blow his uh, clover. He's just trying his best not to disclose any information when it comes to Yajo during this interrogation. But... So there, you got pretty nothing to to do. <laughs> they, they can't hold him forever. And as soon as he leaves, they they do release his dogs, and they are just all too happy to see him. <sighs> all right, I'm going home. <laughs> but as soon as he exits. The police station. He is surrounded by his classmates, as well as the members of One A and One B. They want explanations to how he did that, where he get the dogs, and yada yada yada. A lot of shit. As for Izuku's answers, it's like none of your business. None of your damn business. How I got this. <sighs> Fine. Play play that way. Just be that way. See see how far it gets you. Shut up, Bakaho. <clears throat> what? You heard me. Man, I hate your ass. Motherfucker, I I'm gonna gonna what? Careful. I know where you live, and I know where you live, bitch. Don't you even think about threatening me. I didn't have to save you. I didn't need saving! <laughs> oh, come on, Kaski. You know you did. You were probably crying. Hmm. That's kind of sad, really. As then something else happens in which Eri and Nana show up. It's like, hey, Dad. Dad! Them looking at Izuku and saying, oh, my precious little one. Then it's like, so what's going on? Me and mom wants to come see you. Mom, them looking at Nana, I was like, wait, is he? Bob goes like, wait, is he laying down pipe on, on a hero already? He's like, don't be ridiculous. Seriously, she sees me as a father figure and she sees Nana as more of a mother leaf type. That's pretty much it. Uh huh. Okay. As all the other girls are looking at Nana, and she. She's looking good. I ain't gonna lie. She's looking really good compared to them. It's, which they are actually hella jealous. The guys are very jealous of Izuku. But he just don't bother him. 
the as soon as they get into the, the uh, car, he's just like, okay, let me see, I need, I got my gear here, I just need my knife for a second. What? What for? As he stabs into his shoulder and just rips out, wait, what is that? Oh, this, uh, well, they tried to, they're trying to track me. Why? As he heals, so, uh, they just, these want to see my connection to Scarface. Oh, yeah, the New Way Devil. I don't think he really cares for that name, but yeah, his, I just call him Scarface, but <laughs> I try my best not to laugh when, when the detectives call him, him a girl. He just breaks the, the tracker. <sighs> Seriously. I guess I have a better senses. Once I probably would have noticed them placing that thing on me. Hmm. But if anything, don't you think Scarface would uh, like to be, uh, you know, more anonymous? Yeah, but that was his fault. As well as mine, I suppose. He should have been more inconspicuous. <sighs> yeah, that's our fault. But... No stuff in it now. Fair. But still, Izzy. By the way, uh, how was your day, uh, Harry? How, how was school? What happened? She broke a kid's arm. What? Why? He's making fun of me. I'm sorry. No, no, no. You, you don't have to. You don't have to apologize. Just be careful. All right. Nah. Seriously, it's already terrifying enough to how good you are at combat. But then again, you have such good teachers, do you not? Wow, humble much? <sighs> be honest, I was humble, humble eyes when it came to that weird Nomu thing. What do you mean? <sighs> well, you see, it, it's this whole thing, it's weird, uh, you know. It was an artificial person. Really? What? Yeah. Weird. Seriously, I, I was super surprised. I was like, wait a minute. Uh, yeah, as soon as I realized, oh yeah, these things aren't human anymore. They're dead dead, but the abundance of quirks they had. Ugh. The last one actually even turned muscle fibers into sort of armor, making it even harder for me to... You know, kill it. You know, look, I, I broke my wrist blades on that thing. I'm going to make a whole new pair. <sighs> but one thing's for sure, I I don't know how much longer I can keep up this whole facade. Sooner or later, someone's either going to find out or someone's going to, you, you know. Yeah. As, yeah, Izuku looks at Eri and she's just playing with the dogs. He's like, what the hell? Seriously, how the hell are you so well? I'm a kid. Plus, you're my dad, so. <sighs> yeah. Hmm. I would want these guys, at least one of them, to be with you for your first hunt, but I don't really want you to. 
What? I really don't want you to get hurt. But you have to learn. You have to kill something. Right now you're unblooded. So you're not even an adult yet. But dad. No buts. Seriously. You're young. You're seven. Usually. You know what? Yeah. You're not allowed to go on that hunt until I deem you at least a teenager. What? What? What if I go in the forest right now and kill something that that would not be a challenge? Before I got abducted, I was a little more than just a earth hunter in which everything I would hunt was weak compared to what I face now. <sighs> Seriously, Ari, I'm not going to risk you getting hurt. But, Dad, no buts. Until I deem it so, you are definitely not going to be doing any hunting. Mom? He's the expert. I am not. I I do agree with him. Besides, you don't even like using your quirk. God, I don't want to hurt anyone. Hurting people is different from wanting to hurt them. At least compared to doing it on purpose and on accident. When you're doing it on purpose, it's because you want to. You want them to get hurt. But when it comes to accidents, it makes it harder for you to forgive yourself. We know you still get those nightmares. <laughs> yeah. Of the day you unborn your father. The day you started getting experimented on. Uh, yeah, we know those times still affect you, and that's going to take time for you to really heal mentally, but we don't want you going berserk as soon as you see them, because once you do, it's not about what they've done to you, it's not about how they made your life a living hell, it's all about the hunt. And partially vengeance. <sighs> I was getting to that. Yeah. Justice is the word your father was looking for. No, it wasn't. Either way. Yeah. So, what will you do now? Well... Your father has something to tell you. Grandma Inko. I do? Yes, you do. Because I believe you're right when you said sooner or later the shit's gonna hit the fan. So, what are you trying to say? Well, wouldn't it be better for her to already learn about what's coming and you, like how you got back, what really happened? Because trust me, it's going to hurt a lot more if she has to learn through outside sources what really happened. Fuck. Yeah, I hate it when you're right. Yeah, I know. But when I'm right, I'm right. You can't deny that. No, no I can't. Alright, fine. I'll tell my mom about what actually happened. But I have no idea how she's going to take this. Or she'll even believe me. Um, don't you have a spaceship? Yes. Don't you have weapons, trophies, and a bunch of other things that could be labeled as proof? I do indeed. Huh. Seems like it's pretty easy now, doesn't it? <laughs>